Hello, I am Artemis. I have res I am doing a tutorial for the Star Sea dress that I made. I've gotten many messages and comments asking about how to put the dress on a base because a lot of people are having issues with that. So here I am. I am going to download each file. And because DeviantArt wants to be a pain in the butt, I was not allowed to download my own content. So I had to create a dummy account and send myself points. So why we're waiting on that, that failed. Hold on, let's try that again. What the fuck? What the heck? Technical difficulties here. Give me a moment, I'll figure it out. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, not sure what happened there. So I went ahead and downloaded both the dress and the base, and we'll go into, we don't need that right now, my downloads. We'll create a separate folder to keep things organized. And move both of those in there. We'll extract each one, delete the zip files, because I don't need them. We'll take the dress. There's another one, what the crap. And just to clear things up for later, I have made my own sphere files that I also use by default in the base. You see that one there, and yeah, it's that one. So when you see the whole same file and the same thing here, yeah, right here, just to appease the Karens or the copyright gods, they're asking if I want to replace the files I made that are also included in the base. I'm not using TDOS stuff and selling it. Just making that clear, the amount of crap I've gotten for that is unreal. So I'm just going to hit and hit skip, it's all the same. And going to load in the base. I don't need that. Just throw the base in. And while we're at it, we're going to load in the dress separately after it loads. We're going to do purple because it's classic. And as you can probably tell, the star C has its own physics. And so does the base. They're more or less the same. The physics, especially around the waist, have been modified so they work best with the dress. So we can just go ahead and just delete all this. If you have a pre-made base with like hair and stuff on that, keep that. Like the rigid bodies and the joints for your hair and whatever else you got, just don't delete those. You'll mess up your model. So now that that's been cleared off, we are going to import the dress. We can get rid of that. I don't need it. Click OK, and there we are. It's loaded in. I like to delete the bra because it's clipping. So to delete vertex or mesh or whatever, what do you want to call it, polygons, you select it, you hit shift plus delete. Yes, boom, it's gone. Problem solved. Now, the first thing you've probably noticed is her feet. They don't fit in the shoes. And that's pretty easy to do. You just, what I like to do, I'm going to use my method here for repositioning feet. Feel free to do your own. Is that I will delete one. And then just modify the other one. So I go in. And I will speed this up, but basically I just go in and just move everything where it needs to go.
Okay, so here I have the foot repositioned. What I'm going to do next is basically just copy all that. Go into Edit, Object, Mirror Object, and boom, there's the other foot. So we can go in here, and we can see that we have a foot. Working feet, woohoo. Uh, if you probably noticed this, it's because back when I made this, I didn't exactly know what I was doing that well. I had just started getting into Blender, and I wasn't aware of the hierarchy in the physics thing. Not really a huge deal. Like, you turn on the physics, they snap and stay where they are. But the cause for this is the physics are attached to these to physic bones that are attached to these orange, yellow IK bones here. I don't know why. But these things, these physics here, if you can see them, yeah, and the joints, do not play nice with the IK bones. I don't know why. I'm not a computer scientist, but it's not exactly a big deal. They work either way. So yes, that's fine. Another glaringly obvious issue that you could probably tell is... The clipping between the base and the gloves. Again, just like with the feet, but easier, is that you go in, nails and body, you select the mesh, I try to match it to the base's topology as best I can to have the more ac most accurate rigging I can get. So just select it, delete it, with shift delete and there you go the arms are fine sorry about the lag my computer's old oh wait I don't have bones okay yeah everything's good you can't clip it for anything that's not there uh, one of the comments I've gotten is that someone can't get their root bone to work as you can probably tell it's I got physics off, and it's moving just fine. Yeah, all the root bones are working. Turn on physics. Same thing. Everything's good. For that person, if you're watching this, I don't know why it's not working for you. Uh, my best guess is if you could just be using a base that's not TIDA, or TDA, depending on how you pronounce it, the three letters here, and the bone names for different bases and different models are all different. So it could just be that there's just things are just too different between the two. The dress is mod like uh, fitted to Tida's topology and bones and whatnot. So if you're using a different base, you're going to have to be a little more knowledgeable of the program and everything. Uh, another issue that you could possibly have is that since this is a PMX model, it doesn't always translate well in a PMD editor. So you have to use a PMX editor. I don't know what your setup is. I'm just throwing out ideas, but that could be one issue. I've noticed that rigging and texture sometimes get wonky when there are like downgraded into an older version of something. Other than that, I have no idea. If neither of those options are the case for you, then feel free to re-download it. I mean, after you purchase it once, it's free. So, knock yourself out. Someone else has also mentioned that the weighting doesn't work at all. Like, there's no rig to the dress, period. Again, might be the same issue with the root bone. It could You could have just loaded it onto a different base, and that's why it's not moving, because the bone names are different. As you can see here, everything's good. If you're wondering why the dress isn't moving because of this, well, you turn on the physics and it's fine. I think I broke her leg. But yeah, it's like, it, not entirely sure what your problem is, either. Or you just could 
be using an older version of the editor. So those were the main issues, was rigging and the feet, I believe. As you can probably tell, that the edge line doesn't exactly work with transparent anything. So to do that, you just click... I'm just going to go with everything here because I don't want to sort it out. But you just turn off the edge line. Boom. Got a seamless dress. Woohoo! So you just go ahead and save. Load MMD. I don't need to open anything. Bad uh, old habits die hard. Um, right here we are. Base, base, loader in. And doot, 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 we are waiting. Load in whatever emotion I have here. Put the link in the description. And yeah, just. There we go. She's working. You might find some clipping between the base and the front chest area. I didn't know as much back then as I did now, and the topology isn't exact. But the solution to that is the same with the arms. Just select and delete it. Just be careful not to delete her back as well. But yeah, other than that, everything is working. So at this point, you can stop if you want. What I like to do to make the model cleaner and work better is centered around the feet. First thing we want to do is get rid of these toe bones. I don't have these bones rigged to the shoes because I wasn't as knowledgeable about rigging then as I am now. So all these are going to do is just move part of the feet, which is looking kind of weird. So... Instead of deleting them, which would just create more work, the best thing to do is go into your bone tab, find your bones, copy the name of the foot bone, which would be this one here, and then paste it into the toe bone. Copy, paste, edit, bone, merge, okay, and there we go. That bone's rigging. Everything that was attached to that bone has just been merged into the foot. So you don't have to like re-rig anything. See, there we go. We got a foot. So another, just to make the model look nicer, I will also move these to line up with the toes. This isn't really a huge deal. It just makes it look neater. So that's good. And these two. Just go here. We can delete those. They were attached to the toe bone. The toe bone no longer exists. Let's take these. Adjust them a bit to line up with the foot. And boom. Done. Save. And you're golden. This was the tutorial for how to put the star C on a base. I'm way too lazy to delete all that, but whatever. I will leave whatever links in the description. If you have any more comments, feel free to throw them. Comments, my gosh. If you have any more questions, feel free to throw them in the comments or send me a message on my DeviantArt. Whatever you is comfortable for you. Um, oh, another thing that I forgot to mention is that my Star C outfit has its own Photoshop files. You go in here, it's got all of them, throw it in. You can use whatever Photoshop program you got. I use Krita because it's free. And yeah, everything's not organized. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it's like lag. Okay. Yeah, it's like you can pick and choose what colors you want to change and whatnot. It's honestly up to you. No, I don't want to save. Enjoy that little advertisement.
place. I have bills to pay. And maybe somewhere in the future, I will come out with another update to where the rigging is less janky and things are just more neat. But until then, enjoy this tutorial. And I hope I helped everyone out. And everyone have a good night. How do I delete this?